Lady in White. Frankie, where are you going? To school. Halloween, 1962. The problems of the world were a universe away from a place called Willow Point Falls. Or maybe that was only the way it seemed. Are you hurt? What's that look like? Ketchup? That was the Halloween Frankie Scarlatti didn't make it home. That was the night she came into his life. There was a little girl. I saw her. She was killed in the cloakroom. And suddenly, what was once so safe became very dangerous. What was once so ordinary became magical. I couldn't see his face. Eleven kids molested and killed in the past ten years. They're all from the city, except for the first one. And everyday events became miracles. Listen to me! Ten years ago, she was killed in the cloakroom. I saw it happen. Where's their proof? This case has been making monkeys out of all of us for the past ten years. The peak, the haunting ground of the legendary lady in white. in white an extraordinary adventure a haunting mystery a very special movie lady in white His mother had passed away, his father called to war, and Wendell, a lonely, cynical boy, is exiled to a small Vermont town to live with his relatives. Wendell, this, of course, is your grandmother, Cornelia. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Corny. And no one would be left unaffected by his visit. Don't you talk at all? If you don't turn off the damn light, I'll slug you. Now I'm on damn cereal. What? Everywhere he went. Name's Wendell. It's a pleasure, Wendell. Wendell made quite an impression. Ball player? Don't know yet. But if he ain't, well, if I'm in a shape, I reckon. I doubt it. I don't like athletics. No one seemed to understand him. You new in town? No, I've been here for a couple of centuries. Well, they call you Wendell or something like that. I mean, how about Wendy? Wendy's a girl's name. And he remained as distant as ever. Who's Fred? My father. Why don't you call him Daddy? Daddy's pretty infantile, if you ask me. Until he found that being a kid wasn't so bad after all. But sometimes, needing someone is the bravest thing you can do. I am the wizard. I will protect you. It's a boy's coming of age. Hi, Wendy girl. From learning to stand up for himself. My name. My name. And caring about others. For someone special? I love chocolates. To just enjoying life. Hey, meet Spike. You know what people say to me? Spike, do you have political ambition, political goals? Are you seeking the throne of office? I say no. 
I'm just trying to get a little piece of the pie. He's Bensonhurst's biggest knockout. be like another Sugar Ray Leonard. Nice, kid. Just a little screwed up. None of us been able to control. A headstrong rebel. I'm Italian from Bensonhurst. Who thinks he's got it all figured out. In my I get a little piece of turf from your father. Every cuisine on 18th Avenue is going to know who I am. So maybe start eating some real pasta, you know? But I don't mean that stuff out of the can. No, never. I know. I always make it fresh out of the box. He was loved by many. Wanna have sex? Too many. Disgusting. And he's getting himself in big trouble. You stay the hell away from my angel. My father wants Justin to think that the baby I'm gonna have... What baby? Your baby. So what about India? She's having your baby, too. You don't want the baby? What do you want to show off your stomach for? The work came down just dead in Bensonhurst. I can't be exiled from Bensonhurst. Now Spike's in way over his head. Who do you want to marry anyway, me or my father? Whatever. He's down for the count with only one way out. Organized crime! That's right, organized crime. It's the comedy that's a knockout. Sounds cool. Spike of Bensonhurst. This arrangement here is un-Italian.